Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Pramji. Welcome back to a brand new video. What for you guys today is my monthly manga haul for the month of June. Now in recent months, I've kind of focused on picking up new series that I was interested in, but I decided that this month I was going to pick up the newest volumes for ongoing series that I really love, as well as completing a couple series that I just needed the last few volumes in my collection. We got a good amount of manga to get through in this video, a lot of absolutely amazing stuff. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this manga haul. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. Also, if you're shopping on right stuff, then make sure to use my affiliate link to be linked down in the description below. You get manga for amazing prices. You also help support the channel. But with all that being said, without any further ado, let's get right into this month's manga haul. All right, so the first manga volume that I picked up this month is going to be volume five of Hiroya Oku's Gigant. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm a huge Hiroya Oku fan. Obviously, Gant is my favorite manga of all time, and I'm honestly really enjoying his newest series. Although this manga seems to be extremely polarizing in the general audience of manga readers, I have yet to see a true Hiroya Oku fan who does not enjoy this series, as it really is just a showcase of all the things that make Hiroya Oku manga so enjoyable, whether it be the absolute absurdity of this story or the fantastic artwork. And just like the rest of Hiroya Oku's manga, these volumes are extremely short reads. You know, as soon as you start them, in the blink of an eye, you're done. And if I remember correctly, Chio is in the middle of this battle with this god of destruction sent from space or something like that. And though I have not gotten into this volume as of yet, I'm sure that when I do, it's just going to be a quick blast of absolute ridiculousness that I'm sure to enjoy. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting into volume five of Hiroya Oku's Gigant. The next volume that I picked up is another new release for my favorite ongoing series on course, I'm talking about Blood on the Tracks Volume 6 from Shuzo Oshimi. Similar to Gigant, these volumes just go by so fast, and it's really a shame that these volumes don't come out more frequently, especially with this series, which in every single volume seems to have some crazy plot twist or something absolutely bizarre happening that you just want to know what happens next. Shuzo Oshimi really is a master of psychological manga and cliffhangers, so the things that he brings to the table in this manga are truly something special. Now, I will say that I probably enjoyed Flowers of Evil more than I enjoyed what I've read of this series so far. I really like both series, but I think that The Flowers of Evil has a lot more unique things going for it, whereas Blood on the Tracks is pretty simple and straightforward. That absolutely does not take away from the fact that Blood on the Tracks is one of my favorite ongoing series that I thoroughly enjoy every single time I read it. So I'm very excited to get into this sixth volume right here very, very soon. Next up, we have two volumes from my favorite ongoing series, if not my favorite at the moment. Of course, I'm talking about Rambo Dreaming Volumes 11 and 12. Similar to the series that I've talked about so far in this video, Rambo Dreaming is just a super fun series that every single time I open up one of these volumes, I really enjoy it all the way through. If you're searching for a great comedy series, then look no further than Grand Blue Dream. There are so many amazing qualities about this series that I love so much, as well as the fact that the characters and setting are really unique as they follow college students on a college campus, which is obviously the situation that I'm currently in, though I don't share similar lives as the characters in this manga. It's really cool to see, you know, characters my age rather than just high school girls or adults. See, so yeah, I picked up volumes 11 and 12. I believe volume 13 literally just came out like a couple days ago. So I'll probably have to pick that one up very soon, but I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy these two volumes I have right here a lot. Speaking of series that I enjoy a lot, next up we have some volumes for one of my favorite series of all time. I'm talking about One Piece. This month I picked up volumes 46 through volume 70. Hopefully you guys can see these. All right, um, I didn't pick up the actual box set this month, but I did end up picking up volumes 47 through 70 with the old Viz logos. Last month, I received the third One Piece box set, which had the new Viz logos like you see on this volume 46 right here, but I ended up trading those with somebody who wanted the new logos. I went to the old logo, so it really all worked out. And then volume 46 that I have right here, I ended up picking up from Right Stuff, so it has the new logos. I'm not too disappointed. I'll probably just end up swapping this volume out for an older volume sometime in the future. I'm not really in any rush, but yeah, I've read volumes 46 and 47 so far. And although it's not quite as eventful as the Water 7 Saga, I am enjoying Thriller Bark for what it is. So I'll have an arc review coming out for Thriller Bark once I finish it. The next four volumes I picked up this month are going to be the last four volumes for a series that I have been reading or have had on hold for a very long time. I'm talking about Battle Angel Alita Last Order volume 16 through 19. It's been several months since I've actually read a single volume of Last Order just because I was waiting for the right time to pick up these final four volumes put out by Kodansha Comics. And as I was putting together my right stuff order for some new releases like Gigant and Blood on the Tracks and all of that, I decided, you know what? I'm finally gonna finish this series once and for all. 
Where I left off with this manga is basically at the climax of the ZOTT or the Zenith of Things tournament, which is this big tournament where everyone from all these different galaxies and planets come together to prove who's the strongest. Really exciting stuff, a lot of fantastic moments in this tournament. So I'm very excited to finally finish Last Order once and for all. And the next two volumes I picked up this month are going to conclude yet another series that I've loosely been collecting, you know, not really any rush, but these two volumes are going to complete the set. I'm talking about Uzumaki Spiral into Horror, volumes one and volume three. Now, when I got these two volumes in the mail, I showed them off on my Instagram, at the G, you should be following me. And I got a lot of people saying that they had never even seen these editions before, so I will explain what these are. These are the pulp editions, as you guys can see, which was a manga magazine, had some series like Banana Fish, Strain, uh, Phoenix, I believe. And though Uzumaki is not my favorite series by any means, I feel like I've actually talked a lot of crap about it and said that's vastly overrated, which I do believe. But all that aside, I really did enjoy when I read it. And I mean, come on, these editions just speak for themselves. They're absolutely beautiful. I'll put a picture up of the number two volume that I already have, and then the third volume is just absolutely awesome. There's like embossing on the spine and on um, the cover here. These are really awesome additions in my opinion that you really don't see too often. Since I found these two volumes for a pretty good price, I knew that I had to complete my three volume set. So I'm very glad I was able to get my hands on these for a good price, and I'll probably be rereading the series in the very near future. The next volume that I got this month is going to be volume 22 of One Punch Man. Now, real fast, I gotta show off these covers once again. These are absolutely stunning, especially how they got Tatsumaki looking adorable on the back cover here. I mean, really, this front cover is like a contender for probably top three favorites of all time, in my opinion. And while I haven't gotten into this particular volume quite yet, I've heard that Child Emperor here displayed on the cover goes absolutely crazy. You get to see a lot of cool things from him as well as some character development. So I'm very excited to see that in this volume. I really wish that these volumes came out more frequently because again, like some of the other ongoing series, these volumes just go by extremely fast, way too fast, and you only get like two a year, which is a real shame. So I'm probably going to hold off on reading this volume for a couple more weeks, as long as I can stand it, because One Punch Man is obviously one of my favorite series of all time, so we'll see how long it can last. So I'm really looking forward to getting into volume 22 of One Punch Man when the time is right. And last but not least, we have no doubt the coolest manga volume that I've picked up this month, or maybe in the past few months. This thing is just so cool. You guys couldn't tell by the thumbnail, Last thing I have to show for you guys is the Naruto Collector's Edition Hardcover Volume 1. Now you may be wondering how I got my hands on a copy of this, a pretty rare volume, and the answer is I ended up doing a trade for my Bleach Hardcover Collector's Edition. I ended up trading that hardcover as well as a couple other rare manga volumes that they bought. This is actually from a viewer from Canada, so if you're watching this video, leave a comment below. Uh, I really appreciate this amazing trade. Similar to the Bleach Hardcover, it says that features color pages and they use color pages, you know, pretty loosely, as you can see here. Yes, technically some color pages, but you know, not a whole lot. Even though I've never actually watched or read Naruto, I think that this is just an absolutely sick release that I'm super glad to have because not a lot of people have this. Also in that package, he threw in this volume one of a series called Heavenly Delusion that I've actually never even heard of, but it looks pretty cool and he was kind of hyping it up when he was talking to me in the DMs, so I'm definitely gonna give this a try and maybe I'll end up picking more volumes of this series if I really do enjoy it. If any of you guys have heard of or read this series, definitely leave your thoughts on it in the comments below. I'm definitely very curious about what you guys have to say about this. But yeah, thank you again to the viewer who sent me these two books right here. Hopefully you got my books all right and you enjoy them a lot because I know I'm going to enjoy these two quite a bit. Anyways, guys, that's all the manga that I picked up in the month of June 2021. Hope you guys did enjoy this manga haul video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been The Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.